Finally, referring back to the original two paragraphs, um, I've highlighted in William Lane Craig's paragraph every sentence that is a paraphrastic uh, rewording to use uh, Trinity Evangelical's language of Stuart C. Easton. One observes a sentence in the middle of the paragraph. It is clear to me that Easton never wrote a sentence about atheism, pluralism, or agnosticism. Um, and that sentence is neither his state nor his society constrains him to believe in a particular creed or to worship in a specified manner. manner. Religious pluralism is an order of the day. He may even choose to be an agnostic or an atheist if he so desires. Easton never had that thought. So thus we can set aside the interpretation that Craig was merely paraphrasing Easton, uh, even poorly, uh, poorly paraphrasing Easton. Craig was doing his own thinking as well. Without the benefit of the original text, I don't think that a person could realistically imagine that the author of the majority of the paragraph, be Easton or Craig, was not the author of this one specific sentence. Um, and in all likelihood, you would uh, imagine that the same person was responsible for the entire paragraph. And indeed, the survey I conducted bore that out. I can't pretend to know what Craig was thinking in that moment, uh, in the moment that he wrote this paragraph. My conclusion after all of this is that he did not use quotation marks when he should have paraphrased in a manner which constitutes pl uh, plagiarism and wrote a sentence stealing another author's credibility. Therefore, if we suppose that the universe is the product of an existent creator, we can conceive a greater being, namely, one who created everything while not existing. Ergo, God does not exist. Because the God that created the universe and does not exist is greater than the God that created the universe and does exist, God does not exist.
logic and reason are about distinction. Distinction is about power. Power is about control, and control is intrinsically opposite to love and faith.